Today, let's uh, can you can you give me like a bird eye view of K and H labor force? Like, how many guys you running? What do the teams look like? How many crews? Like, There's about forty guys. Okay, that comprise of eight cr- crews. These big, big, well, forty divided by eight is five guys a crew. Is that is that pretty average, or do you have some yes. guys bigger, some crews bigger, and some smaller? Yeah, some of them are. Four guys, some of them are like the Cornish crews are busted into two to three crew, two to three men crews. Mm-hmm. Framing crews are around four. Some of them are like six or seven. And then your decking crew is anywhere from two to five, depending on how many he brings. And then, um, and then the, we've got a punch crew that's kind of around four. So, what is it? What does punch crew mean? I say punch, that's about the right word. Miscellaneous, like they're doing demo. They're doing setting doors. Hey, we had like a, we need to run some siding today. We need yeah. to uh, do a little painting or something for some reason. That's cool. That's cool. Miscellaneous crew is nice yes. to have. Yes. They, can, they can just support. It's yes. like the utility players. Yes. Um, how, yeah, how did you ever arrive at this like designation of crews and like separation of workforce like? Was it a natural flow or like, was it super strategic from you? Like, no, like we, we, we met like when we, when I first started framing with my brothers, we knew guys that had several crews, mm-hmm. but they would do it all walls, joists, rafters. They do the soffits. They do the deck do everything. So if you had a five man crew, they'd take that house start to finish. Mm-hmm. Um, then my brother, oldest brother, Aaron moved to, uh, Mansfield and about the same time we were meeting uh, uh, some friends down in Austin meeting them and both of the two separate places Mansfield and Austin but they had the same model they had framing crews walls they uh, a framing crew would do the walls joist rafters bracing then you'd have a Cornish crew do the sheathing exterior sheathing all your soffits windows doors and then they'd have a decking crew so they'd have them busted up in three different crews she, for everybody listening, sheeting is around the exterior walls and decking is on your roof. Yeah, putting like the OSB on the mm-hmm. walls and the, on the roof. So that model, we kind of saw how successful that was. And then I said, hey, we want to do that too. These cool guys are getting after it and making money. Let's do it that way. Yeah. Um, there was definitely pushback. Does it make you more nimble like in the day-to-day, like having – the specificity of each crew or does it is it more rigid there's pros and cons yeah like you have the most of my crews i've trained them where it's like hey we have like as a gc that hires us they don't care that when the cornish guys on the ground and and cornish but they need some punch done inside some changes they don't want to hear from me say hey the the framers they'll come back or they're not there so I'll have to like, hey, Cornish guy, go in there and do some light punt pickup work. Mm-hmm. That way, it's a seamless for the GC. Um, they'll get paid extra, but um, but ever especially here in like Erath County, all those everybody pushed back because they wanted you. They wanted to keep us where they met us. Uh huh. They were, hey, Stephen or myself was on the jobs. We met them. We did all, and then it was all of a sudden we weren't. Or as, yeah. as it started growing, and then we had busted up into Cornish crews and framing crews that really frustrated a lot of people. But now that it's now that it's just what we do now, right? Every person, know, like I never have it. Everybody, I just I set the tone now. Like the GCs don't tell me how to do. It. I say, hey, you're gonna hire me to do a job. This is how it's gonna go. I tell them how the sequence is gonna go, and nobody says anything because I have a reputation of getting it done and, and a reputation of getting it done. Yeah, you know they're lacking so. No, I thought it was fascinating, you know, just watching your crew's work of it, just the orchestration. Like, it was clear for me as a customer, there was order, unity. There was, like, intermingling. Like, all the different guys would come and go, but they knew each other. And, and yet, it's still, like, for me as a customer, I had one number that I could call. Yes. And it handled it. Or... I could talk to whoever was present and I knew it got back to, to you, mm-hmm. you know, 